Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 84, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And uh, we, we spent some time leveling some crew. We got the Handmaiden to convert to the Jedi Order. Uh, we spent some time talking to other crew members and advancing various interpersonal things. We even prestige to our first level of Jedi Watchmen. And then we went to go to Onderon and got shot down to the moon of Dixon. I, I think I pronounced that right. We'll find out when another character says something about it. And we were exploring our jungle. <laughs> the map calls it the jungle landing. I mean, it's a better landing than the last time we crashed on a moon. So at, at, at least at least there's that. So. <laughs> Let's, uh, and, oh, and Korea seems to think that there are things that I need to see as, uh, as the exile. There are things, there's history for the Mandalorian War, from the Mandalorian War here. So, uh, let's, uh, let's see what is down this path. We did that quick loop. We found that crash, and then there's that droid that we blew up. That looks to be a relic from the Mandalorian War. Let's see if we can salvage anything from it. But first, we have some beasties to take care of. And these guys have been relatively simple. Seriously, what is up with the pathfinding on this game? I just, I don't get it. And the enemy selection is uh, something else too. We haven't attacked those guys yet. All right, let's see what we can do with this droid first. Maybe I shouldn't have blown him up. Oh, I can still reactivate him? Okay. Well, I got the repair parts. I'm not gonna bother upgrading his weaponry or targeting systems because honest, I, I don't wanna I don't wanna burn that many repair parts. That's that's just I mean, okay. That is going to get me XP. XP is always nice. On the other hand, that costs me parts. Uh, I'm not exactly made of parts. So let's go ahead and just engage it in patrol mode. And uh, it's going to do some combat for us. Okay. Go forth. Attack the little critters. I'll take the help. <laughs> Maybe I should have optimized this movement. I shall honor them with that. Alright. That's not bad. What do we got in the remains? Come on. Hmm. A hyper battle stimulus? That's always nice. I'm seeing a lot of droid parts and skeletons as we go. They've been all over this path. Uh, I would like to meet a living thing that is not trying to You're kill me. What I'm thinking? Uh oh. These jungles are filled with long, narrow paths. Dumb beasts that just keep charging at you. Mm -hmm. This place is perfect for mines. If the carcasses were worth anything, you could make a fortune. <laughs> okay. So that is the game, somewhat subtly telling me that there's probably some mines coming up. Where is my other droid? Alright, let's go uh, reactivate the droid. And put it in patrol mode. And let it... Let it do its thing. Good. Shuffle after the critters. There we go. Go attack the critters. Um... Detonator glows. Okay. Oh. Alright. Uh, I guess the droid didn't do as well as I thought. That's a shame. Oh. I didn't even see what I got. Uh, ooh, a sonic blaster. 
What did he eat that had a sonic blaster? Alright. Maybe I don't want to know. Prepare yourself. Yeah, I don't know. I'm charging forward. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, we're in the middle of something right now. I've been doing without you. Thanks. It would have been nice if you didn't interrupt combat for that. Just saying. Ooh. Oh, come on. I saw the little rifle appear there for a minute. That would have been nice. Um. Sure. Let's do this. Done them, or not? <laughs> um. Oh, those guys. Okay. They haven't forgotten. How sweet. Okay. Who crash landed on this planet with a hundred and seven bucks in his pocket that survived this guy eating him? Because if you got that kind of money, you should have had a better blaster or a better sword. Whichever way you swing. Um, hmm. Okay. I'll take it, though. I'm not going to say no. All right. Let's uh, meander our way through hither and yon. And we're probably going to meet up. W oh. This is the third droid. Reactivate the droid. All right. I've got 16 parts. And I think I might want to spend them this time. And what I might do is, uh, when I get done recording this episode, I'll hoof it back to the Ebon Hawk where I can use the bench to make some more repair parts. That's actually not a bad idea. Or, or I can get a T3 in the party because he is technically a crafting bench as well. And so you, you can use him for that kind of stuff. Um, that's not weird at all. Nah. Let me put him in patrol mode. And I got 16 parts. So let's go ahead and optimize his weaponry. Oh, and it doesn't engage him in patrol mode? Okay. And let's get his targeting system. Shield. Okay. Okay. Got some mad XP for that. Oh, come on, man. It seriously took you... that All that took you out of patrol mode? Alright, let me do this then. Let me go... Alright, I didn't want to go stealth. I just wanted solo. Because, I, uh, never mind. That, that seems like a bad idea. I was going to try to lure them back to the droid. But, um, uh, that seems like a bad idea. Let's just take the party. Never split up the party. You have led us on a very fine chase, human. The battle above was your doing, yes? Our ship is quite damaged now. If it isn't the Zug brothers. Sorry, but this one's my battle. Oh. So keep those weapon barrels pointed down. Mm-hmm. Our quarrel is not with you, red mane small female? Oh, okay. Uh, why are you hunting me? I didn't start the space battle. Can we make a deal? Uh, okay. So you're responsible from a certain point of view? Is that what this is? It's, uh, what do you mean? You caught the eye of someone very powerful on Onderon, and he wants you dead. But you don't need to worry about that now. Uh, I think I know why, right? Uh, why are you hunting me? The exchange. <laughs> a very profitable amount. Uh, that's right. There's a lot of you brothers, aren't there? Um, I'm not surrendering. <laughs> the bounties are still quite large, even if you're damaged and lifeless. Yeah, listen, buddy. 
I don't think this is going to work the way you think it is. Alright, let's do that. Let's do that. And let's get a shield in. Let's see how the power attack goes. And let's get her to cast that. Oh. Oh, that's right. She's only got the melee shield. Oh, that could be a problem. Alright. Let's make this quick then. Let's move out. Get him! I know we shouldn't have split the party like... Oh, never mind. That... Oh! Oh, so he did come and help out. Good. Oh, I hate the blurry thing. Oh, it's gotta be the blurry thing. Med pack, some parts, and an adrenal stamina. Always nice. Uh Surely one of these guys has to have some... Some, there we go. I thought one of you... Oh, a security tunneler. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, there's another set of remains here. 60 bucks. A couple of advanced med packs. Superior Ryleth power cell. Good for upgrading the weapons and our security tunneler. Nice. Oh. Both of them came... Oh, no. Just the, just the dude on patrol came. Okay. Oh, well. Still, help is help. Yeah, I'll take it. Is there, uh... Anything to salvage on the ship? No? Ah. Uh, that would have been nice. Is there anything further up this way? Oh. Besides the empty, uh... Loot I have already looted? I thought I... I... I now I know I'm getting tired, because I thought I had already uh, looted that. Alright. Let's do this. Bam! Wherever there's a young one, Mama's got to be pretty close by. Nope. Not getting attacked yet? Hmm. What's in the wreckage? A concussion grenade. I I was I was kind of hoping for more. Not gonna lie, a little disappointed in that. All right, and no, nope, that's it that way. Uh, where is my way out then? Got to be on the other side of the wreckage. Yeah. That must be the way out. Show me the way. No, I won't sing that. You're welcome. Alright. <laughs> welcome to the jungle. I hear there's fun in games. You let the ship escape? I will deal with your failure later, Captain. But for now, find that ship. Yep. Our ally uh -huh. has indicated that the Jedi hasn't left the system yet. Send Your a ally, detachment yeah. to Duxon. If you find anything, alert me immediately. Now get out of my sight. Now <coughs> get out of my sight. Okay. W I, I wonder why this guy's got such a, uh, like, like, why he's so, so, kill the Jedi, fetch the Jedi. I got somebody mad. Probably the local exchange rep. Alright, um... Uh, let's go there. And go there. Run up. Let's do this. Bam! Power attack! Come on. 
Get in the fight there, good sir. Oh! Oh, hey. I know those guys. Oh, oh, this is going to be too good to pass up. Let's, uh, let's do a quick crew swap. I love you, Mira. But, uh, I think I want Mr. HK with me for this one. Oh, he's got a level to do real quick. We can do a quick level of him real quick. Because he's only got, like, the, what, three skills, right? Okay, and we were in the middle of some series of feats. Uh, I think it was the precise shot? Yeah, precise shot and flurry, except I probably ought to add that power in there, too. All right, we're going to add the precise shot because that's going to increase damage done. And that's always good, especially for this guy. And there we go. Now he's caught up. All right, let's get the right guy in charge. And uh, let's go. Let's go talk to the HK units. Hi, boys. Diagnostic. For some reason, I cannot fire. <laughs> Obvious statement. This was not anticipated. I am attempting to access my weapon systems, and I can oh. alarmed embarrassment. If this gets <laughs> back to the other units, we will be decommissioned. <laughs> oh, oh, and he can't fire on them, but they can't fire on him. All right. All right. Uh, I don't want to take the penalty for journal entry. I... Oh, no. They can definitely attack me, though. Okay. Uh, ooh. Let me back off on that. Get a heal in there. And then we'll do that. Uh, get another heal in there. I should probably stop wasting uh, force powers on. Oh, never mind. This is working out pretty well. Oh, except I need to get the handmaidens a better armor. Oh, because we also have those two cats in there. Systems failing. All right, what you got? Droid durability upgrade. Always nice. What's in these remains? A droid exchange interface, perception sensors, energy collector. Nice. Is that everything? All right, that is everything. Uh, all right, let's, let's go this way first. Dead Mandalorian. You see the body of a Mandalorian soldier. I kind of figured that when you prompted me with Dead Mandalorian. He was killed in the last three or four days. Okay, that is useful information. But what loot does said Mandalorian have? Like that Mandalorian heavy blaster, that could be nice. And ten bucks. Ten bucks will help on Taco Tuesday on the ship. Uh, this door is impenetrable to anything short of high-grade explosive. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to have to come back here with my demolitions, dude, aren't I? Alright. Uh, is there anything else? All right, those two guys are the only prompts I have. Then, before I head into the cave and those guys, let me talk to HK real quick. Statement. Master.
Master, if you could indulge me for a moment, I must express some degree of irritation at your actions. Perhaps my <laughs> anticipation of working with one who served at Malachor V was too high. Oh. But you are countering all those expectations. And how is that? Statement. Well, all your behavior up to this point suggests either strong atonement or confirmation that the atrocities attributed to you during the war were in fact accidents. Oh. Um. <laughs> they weren't accidents. I did them on purpose and I would do them again. Gladly. What did you want to know? No, I'm not proud and do not wish to discuss Statement. it. I suspected as much, Master. There are few who would discuss such things with an assassination droid, and that is perfectly understandable. It is? I mean, what use is there for communication in a galaxy such as ours? Oh. Understanding might be achieved, or sympathies might <laughs> be gained by such callous acts. Ouch. You are right to remain silent about your past. I have seen the damage that repressing such things brings, and it is far preferable to share such traumas. Wait. Are, are you trying to provoke me? Why did you ask me about the Mandalorian yes, Wars? Why? Because your actions then and now are related, and I feel I need some context. I confess to being somewhat needy that way. <laughs> okay. What do you mean? Statement. Sometimes, Master, it is difficult for meatbags to step back and gain some perspective on death and its importance in oh, their... Oh, seriously, with the meatbag lives. thing again? Explanation. You see, Master, assassination is such a versatile tool. I have seen the removal of a single target have far-reaching consequences for a nation, world, even a galaxy. Oh. The repercussions of even the smallest lives whether dead or alive, can have profound implications on history. But surely you realize this. Because they're wanted, dead or alive. No, no, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> How's that? That's a very human perspective. If you're trying to justify your programming, you're not doing a good job. Let's go with how's that. Statement. Why your own life, master? Your single life changed the face of the galaxy, well, of history I mean, itself. Malakor V was an impressive act of destruction, but its impact on the lives of others in the galaxy was far more extreme. Okay. I mean, Master, you brought about the death of the Mandalorian race. Um, I doubt they realize it yet, but you dealt them a blow oh. from which they will never recover. Uh, <laughs> the Mandalorians deserved it, that's all. Uh... Don't, don't, don't attempt to justify. Retort, oh master, I am attempting to justify nothing. Mm -hmm. Merely making an observation. Merely nothing an observation. Nothing would change the fact that I derive pleasure from ending the lives of others. I was only trying to bring death <laughs> and its impact to your attention. All right. Statement. Ah, uh, you wish to conduct an interrogation? Very well, proceed. Alright, uh... Enough with the interrogation already. Statement. Master, I am no behavior droid, but it is obvious to me that you have serious ethical problems <laughs> that will need to be treated at some point. Ethical problems Very according well. to whom? Ask your questions. If you feel the need to make it an interrogation, however, do not restrain yourself. I would be saddened if you held back. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Alright, never mind. I'll have those conversations later. I lost influence with them, but I'm going to do nothing but lose influence with them. Since I'm not going to have to worry about converting them to Jedi, I'm going to go ahead and progress through the dialogue by having the, the lower influence to open up the dialogues. Because he is clearly evil, and I am not. Uh, you've met one of the teams. He needs two more in order to acquire the factory's location. All right, so I'm going to have to meet two more of those teams. I thought we would have some sort of conversation about what we just met, uh, but maybe that won't be until later, so let me go ahead and save real quick. 
I'll probably do it again as soon as I get to the other side of this, because uh, even though we're at 25 minutes for the episode, I want to see if this is the end of the map or onto the next one. And I'd like to get to the end of this particular map before signing off for the evening. Oh, he saved. Oh, okay. Um, I need to get him. I need to upgrade his blaster while I'm at it too. I'll have to. I'll have to do that between episodes. I'll, I'll get T3 over here and use him as a crafting bench. Uh, because I've got a couple upgrades and I might be able to make everything I need for that. Oh. Oh, okay. This looks like a story point and not likely to be done in the next four minutes. So let me go ahead and save one last time. Are you sure? Yep, I'm sure. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and call the episode. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.